So we're going to look at how you write this number using words. And before we start, I just want to let everyone know that everyone can do math. Math is for everyone. So if you have a number that you have to change into words like 71, you just at this point need to remember the tens and the ones columns. So later on, you're going to be learning more in depth about place value but for now all you need to know is this is the tens column and this is the ones column and the next thing you need to do is take a look at this chart and this shows you what the tens column looks like written out for each number and what the ones column looks like for each number written out. So we just need to locate for our number what 70 looks like. So here's 70 and then here's 1 and that's what it looks like. So you could pause this video right now and maybe just take a closer look at this table and try to remember it and remember how the words are lined up with the number. So how each number is written out in words. So the next thing you need to do is remember some of the rules. So there's always some steps that you have to follow. So first you write the tens part, then put a hyphen, and then write the ones part. So this is the tens part, so let's write that. Then it says you put a hyphen. So you put a hyphen, and then you write the ones part. So here's the ones part here, we circled it. And that's how you write 71. So there is another little step here that you might think you have a question about. What if there is no ones part? So say the question was that we had to write instead of 71, it looked like this, which was 70. So if there is no ones part, then you only write the tens part. So to write out 70, you just write it like this. You don't need a hyphen and you're done. So don't worry if you didn't understand everything right away. You can restart this video and once you hear it once or twice, you will understand it because math is for everyone.